Hey guys, it's Kay here, and unfortunately this week, Steve Jobs passed away. It's a very sad to say that, because he was a pretty influential, inspirational person in life, or just generally. So yeah, he passed away from cancer this week. In case you don't know who that is, he's the CEO, or was the CEO, because he stepped down, uh, of Apple. And he uh, he died from pancreatic cancer, so it's, you know, it really sucks. I, mean, I don't know, I mean, I don't really know how to approach this situation, especially in a commentary form. Not sure what to say, or just anything like that. I'm not sure what to say, if I should say what I think about him, because obviously, like I said, he's, I think he's inspirational, because of his hard work, the background that he came from, because he's, um, He's adopted by parents who did not go to college, and one of, I think, the dad didn't uh, finish high school. So just looking at his background and all these other aspects, it's pretty amazing. His life story is just really amazing. And he's built this multi, multi-billion dollar empire, you could say. Because, I mean, Apple is pretty much an empire. It's taken over a lot of things, especially with their iPods, iPhones. I mean at least in school around like 90 maybe uh, 70 percent of the kids have an iPod and most of its iPod touch and that's like the higher end iPods too so it's definitely taken over I think they've sold almost 300 million uh, iOS devices so it's definitely very very amazing so I don't know how to address this it's really weird I don't really have any notes with me to talk about because just don't know what to talk about Lately, I haven't really been making videos, and the reason is because, uh, well, first of all, high school homework, you know, 10th grade, pretty crazy. Lots of homework, especially with those AP classes and everything, and uh, I just don't know what to talk about. This seemed like a topic because, you know, the passing away of Steve Jobs seemed like something that was viable to talk about, so that's why I'm doing this commentary right now, because if, if I, I don't like... Uh, doing commentaries without a subject Because um, talking about the gameplay is pretty boring and I can understand because it could probably bore you guys too Which is something I don't want. I, I want to avoid that at all costs and this guy right here is trying to snipe my claymore <laughs> Gives his position away. But anyways uh, Yeah Anyways, so I got a gameplay here of Free-for-all I believe on high-rise Back to some Modern Warfare 2, and I'm not really just playing. I'm not playing Black Ops at all right now. It's pretty boring, cause you know Modern Warfare 2 Ground War with the Spaz Mayhem class. Cause lately I've been doing some more Spaz Mayhem gameplays, and oh my god, it's just so fun. Uh, let's see, what should I talk about? Oh yeah, iPhone 4s. There we go. That's something to talk about. The iPhone 4s came out. Uh, or not, it doesn't come out yet, but it debuted about a few days ago. Can't really exactly remember the date because I don't keep track of dates. So it came out a few days ago. Pretty much the new features it has is a camera. I mean all iPhones have a camera, but this is an improved camera. 8 megapixel 1080p video. Not it wasn't unexpected. It was definitely expected for that upgrade to happen. Other than that there weren't many actual huge upgrades because there was the A5 chip that was also pretty expected. The cool feat, the best feature I believe they added was Sierra. Sierra is a voice recognition software, and it's actually pretty cool. It's pretty much, it's not like the ordinary voice recognition because most voice recognition softwares now kind of suck, especially the Apple's one they have right now. They're not that good. Sierra it understands what you're saying. So if you looked at the Apple video, like their little advertisement of Sierra, it's pretty much. You talk into it, say, uh, say if you're because it's linked with your GPS and all the calendar stuff in your phone. So say if you're driving in your car, you get on a little mic thing. You tell Sierra, you know, remind me to pick up the mail or take the mail out when I get home. And you're driving at home. As soon as you get home, the reminder goes off. It's linked with your reminders and the GPS, so it knows when you get home. And then. Uh, it's linked with a reminder, so a reminder comes up saying, pick up the mail. So it knows what you're saying. You don't have to speak all formal like, Sierra, can you please, you know, 
try not to be all formal and speak slow like most of these, most of these voice recognition sof softwares, it will understand what you're saying, which I think is a really cool feature. Though I think it'd be kind of weird to do it in public, you know? You're just like randomly, like say if you're in a subway and you just start talking to yourself, I think it'd be kind of weird. But I mean, obviously, the thing I think when about embarrassment in public is, uh, it doesn't matter to me because unless I'm with people I uh, know very well, I don't get embarrassed in public because chances are you're never going to see the people that you see stay in like a train or a grocery store. You're never going to see them ever again in your life. So that's the thing, like if I'm trying, if I'm going to prank somebody, if I'm going to do a prank at say like a grocery store or something, I go with the mentality of I don't, I'm never going to see a per this person ever again in my life. So it's, it doesn't matter if uh, whatever they think of me, it doesn't give, I don't give a shit. So, that was very off topic. Somehow, I went from Sierra to publicly being embarrassed. Don't know how that happened, but somehow did. But anyways, back to the iPhone 4S. So that's one of the features of Sierra, which I'm pretty excited about. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, so I said the A5 chip, dual core, all that jazz. Um, can't really think of anything. Don't know what else there is in the iPhone 5, or not 5, 4S. Yeah, it's not called a 5, it's called a 4S, which honestly, I don't give, I don't give a crap. Because some people were upset just because they called it the 4S, not the 5. Which is retarded, because it's just the name, guys. Seriously. And by guys, I don't mean you specifically. I'm pointing at you, Johnny. That's right, I'm pointing at you. No, I don't even know who Johnny is. Surprisingly, I don't have a friend named Johnny. And Johnny's a pretty common name. But, uh, it's the iPhone 4. My god, I can't talk or speak or think. But the gameplay is over. Just a short, I don't know, I can't really say short, short, but a medium length free for all. Which I just, you know, Tar 21 Scavenger. The fun stuff, the fun class, I call it. The fun class, whatever. But I'm K and I'm out. Please follow me on Twitter. Rate, comment, subscribe. See you.